watching me! Ha! Take that, Moon! Perfect orbit my ass! We're finally here at the end game of the arc, Yuga vs Rook, introducing some surprisingly high stakes that could mark a significant turning point in the story in another Studio Guts episode. Starting off the stuff, we have Nobuhiro Kondo and Shogo Kawamoto as the storyboarders, with Tomoya Takayama as episode director and Shingo Fujisaki as the solo chief supervisor yet again. Like all Studio Guts episodes before it, episode 51 is a showcase of how much of a great asset Studio Guts has been for the series. With some pretty competent directing from Takayama with some good music choices that know just how to get the viewer hyped for any particular moment. And also the so consistent corrections from Fujisaki himself. It would honestly be a crying shame if this studio didn't stick around for the next series. Now if I have one criticism on the episode is the constant retelling of information that the viewer would already know going into this episode, such as Umiko announcing not once but twice the start of the duel between Yuga and Rook, and Umiko announcing the tie between the two teams. While I know these moments do help pad the episode, I think having some meaningful dialogue between the characters would work better. Episode does do that mind you, but having characters we already know having some meaningful dialogue would probably work just as good while not wasting the viewers time. There are also some storyboarding choices on Kondo's second half of the episode that looked unbelievably flat in contrast to Kawamoto's first half of the episode. I find having some good visuals to a dialogue heavy scene can make them feel a little less tedious. Not a whole lot to talk about on the animation side of the episode, but we do have some very interesting character acting cuts from Akihiro Okuzawa, as Rook is about to be hit by Vost Vulcan's attack. Drawings here are a bit particular, so I wonder how much of it is Okuzawa's original drawings or corrections from the supervisor. Following that, there are some cuts with Rook activating 7 chance and pulling on the slots machine, also by Okuzawa. Besides my minor nitpicks for the episode, the episode as a whole is honestly good as expected from Studio Guts. Though I wish I could say the same for episode 52 as the preview was very bare bones, even showing some reused shots from past episodes. But what's more alarming is that the episode is yet again supervised by Hatsue Nakayama. Now if you can remember he's already supervised episode 49, 47 and 44 before that. The gaps between their episodes are honestly terrifyingly short so he wouldn't really have had a lot of time to correct this next episode. So I'm really hoping he's given a second supervisor to help him just like they did for episode 49. So fingers crossed it turns out well. But with that see you in the next video.